Then the next category, credits, deductions, and exemptions. No tax policy is proposed. We'll get into exemptions here in a second, but credits and deductions, pretty straightforward. They're, they exist. <laughs> Just so people understand, a deduction is a, is a reduction of your income. So let's say your adjusted gross income from all sources is $100,000. A deduction is going to change that 100 to something less. So let's say it changes to 95, and then your taxes get assessed on that 95. A credit is after your income is established, after your tax is established on that income, then the credit reduces the tax owed. So it's, are we doing it before taxes assessed or after? That's, that's the difference between deduction and credit. Auto state and wealth taxes make the expiring estate tax cuts from the 2017 Tax Cut and Jobs Act permanent. So this does not apply to all that many people, but if you have a decent size uh, estate, then this will matter to you. Basically, the Tax Cut and Jobs Act doubled the estate tax exclusion. The estate taxes, are, or the death tax, as a lot of people call it, is the, is the tax that is owed on, at, on estates of people that have died that are over a certain amount. So you get the first however much tax-free goes to your heirs, and then they get a step up in basis. And then above that, it's basically a 50% tax. Under the old rules pre Tax Cut and Jobs Act, it was the numbers change every year, but it was say five and a half billion. And then the Tax Cut and Jobs Act doubled it to 11 billion. And so, what the proposal here is making those expiring estate tax cuts again from because we have a 10 year window on the Tax Cut and Jobs Act, those are expiring in 2026 and they're going to revert back to that five million dollar level. So, making the, the doubling of the estate tax exclusion permanent, which will obviously make the vast majority of estate taxes or the vast majority of estates tax free now when it comes to the state tax overall it's a stupid tax honestly because it raises next to no revenue if you look at the charts there's just nothing there so it's just i don't know why they bother to be honest it's what i call feel good policy where it sounds like you're sticking it to the rich guy they just there are strategies for dealing with the estate tax you create charitable entities and you create foundations and, and all these kind of things and you basically by the time you pass assuming that you you are not passing suddenly then you your estate doesn't qualify for estate tax and that's just how it's done so it's just it's creating more work for estate planning lawyers so i guess there's that <laughs> if you are an estate planning lawyer you guys do good work it would be better if it just weren't necessary at all at least that's my take on it 